Yo, 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 what up, YouTube reactions? Your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jailbreak Hacker. Otherwise known as only using me, Tomahawks. And as you can see right now, I got two PSPs in front of me. I got the PSP 3001 and I got the PSP Go. Now, there's a hack out there for the PSP hacks for the 2000, 2001 series, uh, two, um, 3000, 3001. Basically, it's for all the PSPs. If you run them on firmware 6.35 and you accidentally update it to 6.35, 6.39 don't worry there's a hack out there it's fast it's quick it only takes about no more than five seconds so you can up and go so you don't have to worry about using polypon or these other games use the other software basically the hacker which takes so much time if it doesn't load blah 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 so i'm gonna show you how to do it so what we're gonna start is with the psp go so we're gonna move the 3001 out the way and here we go right now we're gonna open this up power it up right here and I know my button right here is kind of dirty right now. Um, I'm going to clean it with a little bit of alcohol on a few. So as you can see me in the background. Zoom that in. Yeah, like that stewy background, don't y'all? Alright, so we can go to system settings real quick. Scroll all the way down. It's an info, as you can see right there, 6.39. Zoom in real quick, autofocus for that. As you can see, version 6.39, this is on the PSP Go. So let's autofocus this one more time. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this down real quick, and we're going to transfer the files over, show you how to get started. Now, this works on all the PSPs. So I'm going to leave it right here, and we're going to switch over to the computer right now. Okay, YouTube X, as you can see right now, now i got my PSP Go onto my computer on my MacBook. We're going to just open up the files right now. Now, you're probably wondering why I have... Um, HBL on it. I have it on it just for um, backup reasons, just in case. It's just a just in case thing. But um, you already know about HLB. I mean HBL. So the only thing you're gonna do is go to PSP games, and inside the folders you're gonna see this, which is fast recovery, and uh, da, 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 where is the other one? Pro update. Only thing you're gonna do is drop and drag. Sorry, copy and paste, or drag and drop it directly inside the game folder. Now you hear a lot of people say, oh, "I'm not gonna do this because I already have it," and blah 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 blah. Nothing's gonna happen. You're just replacing it, and as you can see, like that, just replace it. As so, like that. Nothing to worry about, and it's done. And basically, just exit back out like that. And let me move this out. That's it. And we're going to switch over to the PSP Go right now. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I'm back from the um, Mac right now. And I'm going to show you basically how to do. So I'm just going to open up the PSP Go real quick. Let's do the auto zoom. And we're going to go back down to systems. Let's just see what one more. As you can see, 6.39. And we're going to go down to here. Then we're just going to go to update. Okay, there we go. Gonna auto zoom in right there. So to install it, press X. And there we go. Deletion complete. Start, because the firmware hit X. I'm gonna hit X right now. And there we go, rebooting it. Now to let y'all see, we are on 6.39 Pro. Now as you can see, that's 8.8 or 8B8 or 8B. I'm not even sure, but it's in the file, so 
let's go down to one of my games and we're gonna launch one. As you can see, I got an ISO, but let y'all know that it's really on. We're gonna play an emulator. So let's scroll down to one of my emulator games, Super Nintendo. We're just gonna play that real quick. There you go. Let's just play something really quick. Uh, let's see, what can I load up really fast? Let's do Mario real quick. There you go. And that's it right there. So it's your boy Daddy Easy, iPod Jailbreak Hacker, only use me Tomahawk, and I'll show you how to hack the PSP 3001. So Hit the button up top, which is going to be a link up here. That's going to basically tell you how to hack the PSP 3001. Or you can go down to the description down there, which is going to have all the files that you need to download this. So it's your boy, Daddy Easy, and I'll catch you on my next video. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and also, you know what to do. Become my friend. Nah, catch you guys later. One.